cute shiny. Look at you. Look at you. Now you gotta work for me. Come on, get it. Come here. Come here. Come here. What in the hell is that? I honestly think I may have found my spirit animal in Depresso. Yeah, that should make some happy campers. Depresso. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Depresso. Me too. <laughs> ah, the dark side of Power World. Once the sun goes down, Cognito will go out and eat the remains of any dead humans. You won't find that in a Pokemon game. You can catch any tower boss in Power World, including Zoe and Grizzbolt, using this new trick. First step, attack any guard and give yourself a wanted status. Now, head to the boss arena. Important, once inside, do not attack the boss. Guards will spawn in the arena as you're wanted. You need to get the guards to shoot the boss. To do that, position yourself so the boss is between you and the guards. Once hit by the guards, the boss will aggro the guards. This is when you throw your pal sphere. Aim for the back and it's pretty much a guarantee that you'll capture the boss. Next, hit respawn and get out of the arena. You'll see that you now have the boss in your pal box. Once captured, you can assign it to your team and even give them pets. Or you can keep them in your base. They don't have a dex entry but they do keep all of their stats including their huge amounts of HP. That makes some of these bosses extremely OP to have in your team. If you're looking for a quick way to revive your pals, screw the pal box. This Mao is looking a little worse for wear, but if you kick his little lifeless corpse towards a pal bed, watch what happens. It's a miracle, and no annoying wait time. There once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was a bully of tea. If I'm the nasty, I'm legging it straight out of the house to buy a lottery ticket. He's still fighting. You, you, you're foolish. I swear to God, if that Oh works. my God! No. Had 0.15% of getting it! So there's a new movement tech in Power World. You can convert the momentum from your grapple into your glider so you can travel insanely far very quickly. To do this, just grapple, switch weapons, then glide. You can use this to skip whole sections of the map that you don't want to get involved with. Ah, relatable. You encounter your first shiny, and it's only a chickpea, so I can't imagine it's too powerful. Ah! Stairs are way too big and way too finicky. That's why Happy Rama has developed these custom staircases. As you can see, they take up a fraction of the space that stairs do, and they work 10 times better. You can even spiral them. The trick is to use wooden benches and you unlock them super early on. Stack the next one on top and hanging slightly off the edge in the direction you want to climb. It obviously takes a little bit more time than a standard staircase but it's so much better which makes it worth it. A dig toys can be insanely useful in a raid. Who's your money on? An army of angry Incineram or one giant spinny boy?
but the real strength of the Dig Toys lies in its mining ability. Like anything in Power World, we can exploit that. This AFK auto or an ingot farm is one of the best additional bases you can build. Ingots are one of the most important materials for progressing in Power World. This setup will bring you tons of ingots with you barely lifting a finger. So first head to this spot on the map. This is the best place to build the farm and I'll share why in a second. Place down your power box to create a new base. Ensure all of the surrounding ores are within the new base. Now place your storage near your power box in a place that you can reach without moving from your power box. This is very important. Then place down a furnace, also in reach of the power box. Next you'll need power beds and a feed box. Now let's add pals. You'll need a pal with minimum level 2 mining to mine ore. I'm using dig toys. You'll also need a transport pal that can move the ore to the storage. I'm using vanworm. Lastly, you'll need a fire type with kindling to smelt the ore into ingots. And there you have it. Now you can fast travel to your mining base and collect your ingots. As the storage and furnace is so close to your pal box, you can fast travel while overweight. Lastly, what about raids? Well, this is why we picked this spot. There's only one way over to these ores and it's via this bridge. Place a foundation and a wall to block the bridge. Place campfires on the foundation and it'll set fire to any raiders. Glad was patrolling on his beacon when he heard that sound. Ah, that sound. Oh, sh yo. That's a max level shiny bushy. Chat, a level 50 shiny bushy. Capturing this thing was not easy. After chipping it down to low health, he was faced with a 6% capture rate. Just catch it, family. Just when he started getting worried he was going to run out of spheres, this happened. <laughs> Yo! Interested in the stats and the passive rolls? Me too. Level 50 shiny bushy, dude. It rolled with lucky. Oh! Nice. That's actually perfect. So you can actually stack storage chests using this neat trick. First, build a wooden barrel. Then, place a wooden chest on top of the barrel. Next, enter dismantle mode and destroy the bottom barrel. You'll now be able to place a chest directly underneath the floating chest. If you're not catching your pals in style, what are you doing? If you're struggling, this is an incredibly smart way to kill a Momorest. Wait for it to turn to night and then follow it until it falls asleep. With the Mamorest now sleeping, you can build a campfire underneath it. Make sure to slide it as far underneath as you possibly can. The Momorest will now set on fire. Like me, the Momorest is obviously a heavy sleeper and is completely unfazed by the fire. The fire will gradually tick away at its health, all while conveniently keeping you warm. Genius. Now just wait until its health is extremely low before hitting it. Easy. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.